enjoying having a record player in here lately. It's new. Please take a seat. Yes, welcome to Blue Star Travel. Oh, of course. What do you mean an unusual request? Darling, the things a travel agent hears, not a whole lot seems unusual to us. Okay. You're booking a trip. Oh, I see. You've already booked your trip and the hotel lost your reservation. Interesting. May I ask which hotel you had initially booked with? I'm afraid that doesn't surprise me. Now, they have a bit of a reputation of being unreliable. Yes. Well, I can certainly help you out. Of course. So, from the sounds of it, you are planning on going to Texas. Mm-hmm. No. No, it's, it's not strange. It's not our most common destination, but family, friends. I see. No, it, it's not all that strange. Not to worry. Uh, whereabouts in Texas are you planning on going? Okay. Can't go wrong with Dallas. When are you scheduled to arrive in Dallas? Do you happen to have any free time on this trip? You do? Excellent. I have a suggestion that I think you might be up for, but we will get to that in a moment. Um, how long are you staying? certainly find you some hotel accommodations for that period. Um, how many people will be traveling along with you? Or is it just you? Okay, are there any children? Okay. Alright, so do we have a specific hotel budget? A certain number we were Hoping to stay at or below. Mm, all right. Yes, that will get you something fairly nice. There are, depending on the hotel, there are some upgrade options that we can offer you. Nothing too lavish, although if you are feeling a little bit like a big spender. Some of the hotels do have color televisions now. In the room. I know. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Technology has come so far. So we do have some color TV options if you're interested. It does, of course, raise the price, but not by too much. No. If you would prefer just the standard black and white television, we can do that, of course. But let me look. I just have a book here. Okay. Okay. So, for the dates that you are going to be there, you've got as many options as I was hoping for, but there is one hotel here that I think could be a very good option for you. So I'm going to run through just a couple of their rooms with you. So we have just the standard room, which is your queen-size bed. Mm -hmm. There is no television. 
and of course this is the most affordable option. The next option, bumping up in price just a little bit, and don't worry, I will show you the breakdown of all the prices, I just try to be a little bit more discreet while we're talking money. You know, some people get a little shy about it. So the next option up would be the same setup with your queen size bed, but you would have a black and white television in the room. And of course, every room does come with a mini bar, so not to worry there. Mm -hmm. You can have a room with a king size bed and a black and white television, your mini bar, of course. Or you can have a king size bed with a color television. Yes, they do, yes, they do all come with the mini bar. Breakfast is served, although you will have to provide other meals for yourself. Yes, this particular restaurant does, oh, forgive me, this particular hotel does have a restaurant attached to it. So, yes, you'll be able to get your lunches and things there. So, let me show you here the price breakdown. Yes, this is the, the color, yeah. Excellent choice. I know, I probably would have done the same. Alright, so that will be booked in for you. And I can assure you that they will not lose your reservation. So, that is a reservation. So the name of this hotel you will be staying at is the Oswald. No, it's it's not a chain, it's just a sort of a local thing in Dallas. So everything will be written down for you. So you'll be staying at the Oswald. Now yes. No, it, it's not a very um far drive from the airport, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on... Oh, you are going to be driving. Okay. Yes, it's not very far. You, you won't have any issues with that. Mm -hmm. And anybody that you may be visiting should hopefully be familiar with where the hotel is, but if not, of course you will be provided with the address and everything that you need so they can make arrangements to come find you or come up with things to do while you're there. Right. Now, I did ask if you had some free time because you happen to be going to Dallas at what I consider to be a very exciting time. No, the, the month of November, I suppose, is not a very exciting month, all things considered. The weather is going to be a little bit nicer in Texas this time of year. The heat won't be quite so stifling. But our president, yes, our president, happens to be doing a tour in Texas. Dallas, nonetheless. Yes, when are you going to be there? Well, originally, I thought that was the purpose of your trip, if I'm being honest, but then you clarified, so... I mean, if you're not a supporter of the president, then by no means do you have to go. I just... You're interested? Wonderful. I was hoping you would be. I only wish I could be there. So he's actually doing a small tour in Dallas, and then he's going to be taking lunch with some important people. But a lot of people are going to come out and try and catch a glimpse of him. And of course, our first lady. Oh, she's so glamorous, isn't she? Oh, if only I could have five minutes in her wardrobe, I would just die. <laughs> yeah. So, if you're interested, I think I have a pretty good idea of where a good spot for you to be. Now, he's going to be ending the tour 
at the Dallas Market Center. And that's where he's going to be taking his lunch. I have a feeling that most people are going to try and sort of gather around that area because they think they'll get a better view. Maybe they'll get a chance to talk with him. But I don't think that's a good idea. No. I think security is going to be heightened around there since that's where he's going to be out of his vehicle and talking with other people. So I think your best bet would be somewhere along his driving tour. Now, not a lot of interest seems to have been, you know, talked about around Dealey Plaza. No, I'll write that down for you. Dealey Plaza. Yes. I'll uh, point that out on your map as well when I give you... Yeah, I'll give you a map just of the area where your hotel is located. Um, actually, the Oswald... Yeah, the Oswald is very close to Dealey Plaza. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be excellent for you. So, Dealey Plaza. And I would recommend getting there a little bit earlier. He's going to be there around 12.30, approximately. You know, yeah, sort of like before lunch. Mm -hmm. and he's just going to be driving through, but I think if you're getting a shot at the president, you might as well take it. So, yeah, shoot your shot in Dealey Plaza, right? So, I've written that down. Let me just get your map out. Okay, so I'm going to put a circle on the map where your hotel is. Okay, so this is Oswald here. We've got Dealey Plaza. I'm just going to put that here. Plaza. Okay, and then we'll have President Kennedy in front of the plaza, approximately 1230. Mm -hmm. And that will be November 22nd. hotel charges, but if you do have any follow-up questions, oh, okay, no, no, um, we, we prefer checks, if that's all right, okay, <laughs> thank you, it can be a little bit of a risk to have that much cash, right, you never know, <laughs> so just a check, please, um, and just make it to Blue Star Travel. No, actually, I put it in with your map. Just the breakdown. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. I'm just going to put that in here. Just for safekeeping. All right. So, if you are comfortable to do that, do you have any more questions? Oh, no. The Oswald works a little bit differently. I know that normally we would need to take your address, your full name, that sort of thing, but the Oswald... It is a little bit different. As I may have mentioned, it is a newer hotel. It's not a chain. And it's a little bit discreet, shall we say. Mm-hmm. You know, the Oswald doesn't really want to be noticed, and it is comfortable not noticing you. So, all of those personal details are not necessary. All you need to bring with you is the number on there that I gave you. 
Yes, there's a number on the page with the breakdown and with your room information. Right, you just bring that to them and they will know that you booked the room through myself or any travel agent that is aware of the hotel's existence and that is sufficient for them. Right, because those numbers are not given out unless you have paid. Exactly. No, it, it's nothing... It's nothing seedy, it's nothing <laughs> illegal, it's just a new way of operating. I think certain places like to stay off the, off the beaten path, maybe. I'm not really sure why they do it. Right, so don't be going and telling all of your friends about the Oswald and your Dealey Plaza and all that. <laughs> right. Okay, well, if that's everything then I will let you be on your way. But if you'd like to book any further activities when you're going to be in Dallas, you can feel free to come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I do think you'll have an excellent time. And I hope this experience of seeing the president is going to be a very memorable one for you. I'll be tuning in on my television, and who knows, maybe I'll even see you there. Okay. Well, you take care. Have yourself a great day. Okay, enjoy yourself, all right?